what's going on guys welcome back to the channel season 8 episode 12 is here today happy wednesday to y'all y'all already know i record all four episodes on a saturday but this is you guys are not going to see this episode until wednesday so happy wednesday to y'all anyways last episode still slow episode but still move the story along um you know, still around, I would say this season is getting a rating right now of about 7 out of 10. You know what I'm saying? It's not my favorite season of the series for sure, but that's, it, it's still kind of up there. It's still um, a little bit above average. I agree. You know what I'm saying? Um, you guys saw what the gripes I had with the last episode with the reactions to Carl's dead from Maggie and Carol just didn't sit right. It just didn't. It wasn't done right. You get what I'm saying? For them not to have a reaction to that, and the only person there was it, that didn't. It just didn't sit right with me. But any case, we're moving on. Eugene is making bullets. Um, Negan has, um, but he wasn't making them fast enough. So Negan, he gave kind of Negan a little bit of an idea, and it looked like he's gonna try to execute that by trying to throw in the dead at him or something, um, and try to maybe infect them in some way or some form we'll see how that happens um i don't know what they're going to feature in this episode that's coming up um that i'm about to watch but i guess we'll get to see that um hopefully they show more of what's you know what's really going on there are plans being concocted behind the scenes and hopefully some of that will come to fruition we're at episode 12 with four more to go after this doing one more for tonight um, so we're going to end the week on episode 13. You guys will see that tomorrow, which is Thursday for y'all. But anyways, I appreciate y'all. I will see you guys for the review. Okay, so that was episode 12. Wow. Great, great storytelling, man. And... You know, um, I don't know who these new people are or where they're coming from, but they seem cool for now. You know, I'm very skeptical about anybody that comes around the main group. You know what I mean? Very skeptical about them, you know, until they prove themselves otherwise. They kind of prove themselves, but I'm still a little skeptical about them. Um, the fight scene between Negan and Rick, again, Rick seem to can't hit Negan with one bullet not even one bullet this man this man has got neo powers <laughs> the plot armor is thick he can't even take I, I just want to shot him in the ass or something shot him in the leg something and let him escape somehow I think that would have played out better for but for Rick to have perfect aim when he's shooting at walkers, I know they're moving slower, blah, blah, blah. You can make that argument. But at the same time, he has perfect headshots. He must be able to at least clip Negan somewhere. A graze or something. This man swing at Negan again with a body shot. And he got hit with a baseball bat and he even looked like it did nothing to Negan. I'm just saying it's poorly done. The choreography of how the encounter we i know they don't want to kill negan yet i know they don't want to kill him yet but still yeah you know i'm saying it just doesn't make no sense that they keep having these encounters twice now and it's and both of them getting out of it unscathed again <laughs> you know what i'm saying so um if i'm supposed to nitpick i think that's the only thing that's like it's just not making any sense but i but you know, it's still entertaining to watch. So let me say that. So, Negan has been picked up. What or girl? What what what's she gonna do? Huh? What's she gonna do? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, seems like, um, seems like, what? Why can't I remember his name? Simon. It seems like Simon wants to take over but he's still using the influence of negan to not make them suspicious of him but i think he has plans for them but we'll see how that goes because when negan's lay gets back to him it's going to be a problem 
it's going to be a problem when Negan gets back because if Negan get back to them, I'm pretty sure he's going to kill him. He's going to kill Simon because he found out about the garbage people. Now he's with, um, I can't remember her name. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can never remember her name for some reason. I can't remember her name, but she's with Negan right now. I don't know what's going to happen if she's going to kill him. I don't know why she didn't just kill him again. Negan with the plot armor. Um, you know, but we'll see how things go. But anyways, man, I don't have a long review for this one. Other than the fact that, um, Eden, she, is it Eden or Enid? I think it's Enid, right? She is bugging right now. You know what I'm saying? She's like, yo, it's survival of the fittest out here. I think because of her, um, her losing Carl, like she feels like she needs to just, it's the, it's kill to survive now. It's not... Yeah, I'm saying being nice out here doesn't work, you know, you know, as in with Carl. But you got to understand that the saviors didn't kill Carl. He got bit. And I understand how she comes to this. You know, it's not out of character for somebody to react to that, to losing someone. You know what I'm saying? In a way like that, you know, but I'm glad that Michonne, Michonne has always been the optimistic person in the group. You know, she lost, even though she lost Alexandra, which was the home she always wanted. She's always telling people, let's make it work. Why can't we do this? Why can't we do this? Why can't we do this? There has to be something after. We can't just be going out, just killing people. There has to be something after. And I think she got through the car in some way of coming around to thinking like that again. And I just... I'm on her side. I like I like all Michonne things. You got to be optimistic through tough times, through catastrophic times. You you got to stay optimistic, else you lose your freaking mind. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm glad that Maggie took a chance. Now they got food. See what I'm saying? Be sometimes, you know, you got to pick and choose your battles. You can't turn into the saviors and do the same thing that they're doing. Look, I kill them and let's take their food. You know what I mean? That's not the way to go. You can't treat everybody like that. You know, it's kind of weird that they just popped up out of the blue with all this shit going on. You know what I mean? Um, With no prior introduction or anything. Um, I think they could have introduced these new people a little bit better, in my opinion. But it is what it is. I'm okay with it. I'm not crying about it. But in any case, there's a lot of things that goes on in the series that you really just have to take it with a grain of salt sometimes because it's just like sometimes you can look at it and say horrible writing you know but overall they're doing a splendid job i think the writing in this show is you know it's a solid b plus you know what i'm saying solid b plus you know what i'm saying might even be an a in writing so yes they do make mistakes it's not an a1 show you know what I mean? It's not a A, not to say it's not an A1 show. It's not A1 writing, right? So it's not like it's perfection. Like you're talking about season one through four of Game of Thrones. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not that level. I'm not even going to give it that because I don't think, I don't think The Walking Dead is a better show than Game of Thrones through 10 seasons. I don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like I've only watched eight you know what I'm saying? I've only watched halfway through eight. I'm at episode 38, but I don't think when it's said and done, because first of all, I know there's 10 seasons, right? And right now at season eight, I don't consider it to be better than Game of Thrones and Game of Thrones this seven seasons. So that says a lot. So that's why when it comes on to the only bad season, in my opinion, that I did not give a solid rating for Game of Thrones was season eight. And season eight was trash. I'm not even gonna lie. It was absolute trash. You guys saw my review. If you have not seen my review of season eight of Game of Thrones, I believe it was trash. It, I did not feel satisfied about the ending. Nothing was, well, they tried to resolve a lot of things and crunched it and crunch it in. But at the same time, most of it just didn't make sense. A lot of the prophecies, none of them, they didn't, they would have to explain that shit to me for me to understand how all these prophecies were told and y'all don't even try to capitalize on any of them coming true. 
I mean, certain things that happened, you know, with Bran and all those characters, it just didn't make sense. You get what I'm saying? Like, it just didn't make sense. It's not a satisfying ending. And even if you're going to go with the polarizing ending, there's just so many better theories or stuff that you could have put in it. Put in it. And I still think it's the greatest TV show of all time to this day. I really do believe, still believe that Game of Thrones did their shit. You know what I'm saying? They crapped the ending but it's still good. And a lot of TV shows do that. They have great seasons and then they fuck up the ending. It's what they do for some reason. You know what I mean? Um, but if I get a satisfied ending out of walking, then I don't think I don't, I still don't think I would put it over game of Thrones because the writing in game of Thrones was a one for seven seasons straight. You get what I'm saying for seven seasons straight, 10 out of 10, you know what I mean? 10 out of 10 seasons, I think, except for, well, there's a couple of seasons that, you know, I didn't give 10 out of 10, but still, still great, great show. The Walking Dead, on the other hand, great so far. I think there was some doo-doo seasons before, <laughs> before this one, you know what I'm saying? And I don't even remember the rating that I gave some of these seasons, but some of the seasons were due to, I'm not even going to lie. Like it's still great writing, but at the same time, it, it's just like some of the, the seasons was just very slow. Some of them are my least favorite seasons to even say, if I'm going to watch this show over again, would I really want to watch that season or I would want to just skip it? You know what I mean? So when it comes on to, to, um, to game to, to, to the walking dead, I'm not going to put it up in the echelon. Season eight is not up in the upper echelons. It's not even my top three season out of the eight seasons. It's probably right now. Maybe I, I don't even know where I'm going to place it yet. Let's finish up the season and then I'll decide what to do with that. But for the most part, you know what I'm saying? They're moving the story along and I appreciate that. So that's why I said right now it's still sitting at a seven out of 10 for me. So far, 12 episodes through. So I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for checking this out. I appreciate y'all, man. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to comment. And I will catch you guys next time, man. Peace.